open up the tracker, click on the track motion button here, and this time the option down here, the track type, instead of transform, do perspective corner pin. Parallel corner pin doesn't work in this case because it's not parallel, but perspective corner pin does. Click on that. And that adds four track points. A little more complicated here. So also we're in the layer panel again. You probably didn't even, you know, you can't tell that you switch from one to the other, right? But there we're in the layer panel now. And we're going to drag each corner point, each track point to the corner. So I'm going to zoom in a bit here to the period keep a couple times, or maybe once is enough. If you do, if you do it twice like this and it looks like it's not going to, uh, work because it's too far off to the side. Just grab one of these guys and drag it and the scene will move. So you're not stuck. I'm going to put the attach point right there at the corner. We want to look right there. and We're going to look in that area, which is, I think, plenty fine. We'll need to be too specific about this, but that's right like that. How we're going to do this. I can move this outside thing like that a little bit, but it's not so critical. The edges are easy to find here. Zoom back out a bit, comma, key, and drag you over as well. It'll zoom in again. Take it right to the corner like that. And I'll take my hand tool, press the space bar, and move the entire panel up like this. Again, I'm not moving the layer, I'm just moving the panel. Grab this guy where I've got that four pointer going there. Pull to the right, and it magnifies again. I love that it magnifies, that's really clever. Go to the corner there, and take you and move you to the corner here as well. There we are, all right, there you go. And now we're going to track this thing forward, the same way we did before. So I'm going to zoom back out again by pressing Shift forward slash to so see the whole panel, see the whole frame, and click on the Analyze Forward button because we're starting at the beginning again. You do want to you do want to line things up from the beginning. If you forget that, sometimes you might have your current time indicator in the middle here when you line it up and you go, oh rats, I should have gone to the beginning. Well, that's okay. Just analyze backward in that case and then analyze forward. So we're analyzing forward here and watch those guys track that motion, which. Looking at it from here, it looks like they're doing a great job. I don't see much jumping around and stuff, so that's good. And now check out the number of keyframes. Press U for keyframes, and it's just a mess. Oh, my gosh. And the last thing I want to do is to try to connect these four attach points to four points of the sign that I want to add to the scene. But there's another way to attach points, and that's to use what's called the uh, edit target methodology. So I'm going to go down here and add my sign to the scene. So I'm going to get out of the layer panel. We're done with the layer panel now. Close that down. I've got a sign here that I just yanked off the internet, which I thought was humorous. It says, caution, the sign has sharp edges. Well, then, all right, why have a sign? But uh, drag it down here and add it to the scene. And there it is. And now I'm going to go back to this one here, make it active, back down here to the tracker. I need to select the motion source. Now, now we're going to tell it not the track, but to apply all those keyframes to something else. So when you do that, you need to tell it what's the motion source. Well, the motion source is that video, okay, which we all know, and opens up the layer panel again. Don't have to, but it does. And then it says edit target. I need to tell it what, what it's applying this thing to. Well, it automatically picks the other layer in this case, which is the JPEG file, which is great. So I say, that's what I want, yep. And then you need to tell it after you say edit target, because people forget this a lot, you need to apply it. Little button down there, click Apply, and it's now applied it. And now if you look at what happens to sign, it adds this thing called the corner pin effect, which is actually an effect, it's an honest-to-goodness effect inside After Effects that you can look up under the Effects panel. Adds the corner pin effect and applies the keyframes to the, each of these four points to the upper left, upper right, lower left, lower right points, like that. And also uh, adjusts the position overall for this sign. So if you watch this guy, I'll click away for a second here, and we'll try this. It locked it in pretty well. I, I do see the edge of the sign here, and we could live with that, or I could scale this sign a little bit and compensate for that. I could go for sign, press S for scale, break the scale here, because it looks like I just need to move it a little bit on the X value slightly. Like that. And again, I could adjust the anchor point a little bit to slide it to the right to make a little compensation for the fact that the edge is showing there. But then fine-tuning it after the fact like this is not at all unusual when you're doing this kind of work.